Hello, welcome to another video of ISIS routing protocol concept and configuration. In this section, I will talk about ISIS net address format, which is one type of addressing in CLNS network, and it is required to be configured when we configure or use ISIS routing protocol. Also, we use ISIS in IP network, and in IP network, we use IP address to route traffic, but ISIS control packet is still use net address to communicate with each other. This is the reason why we have to configure ISIS net address when we use ISIS routing protocol. And this is the discussion of this section. As you know, ISIS protocol was originally developed by CLNS network, which of course no longer exists today. Despite the fact that we use ISIS to only route IP traffic, ISIS routers must be addressed with CLNS address. In other words, ISIS router still need CLNS address to form adjacency. Therefore, despite our desire, we have to learn a little about this type of addressing. Unlike IP address, CLNS address are not addressed at the interface level, but we assign only one CNNS address for each router. CNNS network address is called NSAP address. In other words, NSAP address is like IP address, but in CNNS network, not in IP network. NSAP address is represented in hexadecimal format and has a minimum of eight byte or 16 hexadecimal digits and a maximum of 20 bytes or 40 hexadecimal digits. NSAP address consists of three main parts. The most valuable part is area identifier, which is at least one byte and at most 13 bytes. Its middle part is the identifier of the router and it is called system ID and it is always six bytes. And finally, it's low value part. This is called NSEL or network selector, which is always one byte and its value is usually to zero. Network selector field specify the different services of the router and it is equivalent the port number in the IP network. In the ISIS routing protocol, we set the value of network selector always to zero. An NSAP address whose network selector section is zero, it is called a net address. Since in ISIS implementation and addressing routers, network selector field always has the value of zero. So from now on, we will use the word net address instead of NSAP address. In the implementation of ISIS, you will also encounter exactly the term net address. Net address must be unique in the entire network. In this figure, you can see different fields such as AFI, IDI, and high order DSP, which is better not to think too much about it and don't involve yourself in the details because if you are using ISIS for IP network routing, knowing these details will not help you either in configuring or troubleshooting ISIS. Therefore, we ignore these details and the concept of these fields and simply name all of them together as area identifier or area address. For each area, we consider a unique value for the area field. The area field is used for routing between areas in CLNS network. The system ID field is also used for routing inside the area and in CLNS network. Of course, it is obvious that in IP network, the IP address is used to route data traffic. And CLNS address have no role in the routing, but ISIS control traffic is a still of this type, and this is why it is necessary to use these addresses when we configure ISIS routing protocol. For a better understanding of ISIS net address, an example is given here. There are two areas, area one and area four, 
whose area numbers are 49001 and 49004. Area number is usually considered as three bytes, the first byte of which is 49. The number 49 specifies the scope of the addressing system, which means that is local and internal. The next six bytes or 12 hexadecimal digits are the system ID and it is different for each router and must be unique in the entire network. The last byte or the last two digits is always zero. The other addressing related terms that we will encounter when implementing or troubleshooting ISIS are SMPA and circuit ID. SMPA address, which is the discussion of this image on Ethernet interface, is always equal to MAC address of the interface. On the frame relay and ATM interfaces, SMPA address is the same as virtual circuit number. In ATM network, it is equal to VPIVCI, and in the frame relay, it is equal to equivalent to DLCI address. In HDLC and PPP interfaces, SMPA address is the same as layer 2 protocol name of the interface, exactly PPP or HDLC. For a better understanding, here is an example topology in which rotor R1 is connected to three rotors, R2, R3, and R4, with three interface types. At the moment, focus should not be on how this topology is implemented or configured. The configuration will be shown in the next section. Running show CNNS neighbors command on rotor R1, which shows rotor R1 neighbors. But on the CNNS network displays SMP address of all three interfaces. Let's check it together. Rotor R1 and show. CNNS neighbor. As you can see, SMPA address on the Ethernet interface is the same as MAC address. On the PPP interface, the word PPP, and on the HDLC interface, the word HDLC form the SMPA address of the router interfaces. When using ISIS protocol in the IP network, the term used to identify each interface is a circuit ID instead of SMPA address. The net address is determined for each rotor, but the term circuit ID is used to identify each rotor interface. In order to better remember the meaning of each of these addresses, look at this table. The layer 3 address of each rotor in the CLNS network is called NSAP address, but in ISIS, when we use ISIS in IP network, it is called NET address. And the layer 2 address of each interface in the rotor in the CLNS network is called SMPA address. And when we use ISIS in IP network, each interface is identified with a circuit ID. So, NET address or, or NSAP address are equivalent to layer 3 IP address in IP network and SMPA address or circuit ID are equivalent to layer 2 address of each interfaces. How layer 2 address of each interface is determined in ISIS protocol? On LAN interface, a one byte is added to the system ID of designated IS rotor, which is equivalent to designated rotor in OSPF. And in the Cisco rotors, they use host name instead of system ID. So system ID plus one byte tag is the circuit ID in ISIS protocol for the LAN interfaces. And for the point-to-point -point interface circuit ID address is one byte, which is locally significant number and it is unique for each interface. According to the previous topology, we enter show ISIS neighbor command on each of these rotors to identify ISIS neighbors. 
which in the output also shows the circuit ID of the interfaces. Let's check it together. It shows ISIS neighbor. The neighbor in ISIS in IP network is displayed in which you can see also the circuit ID of each interface. As you can see in rotor R1, in the circuit ID is not R1, is R2, because in the LAN interface R2 here is the designated IS. And it's also true when you check in the R2 rotor. So ISIS neighbor, as you can see, in R2 interface also the circuit ID in the link is R2.1. And in rotor R3 and R4 show ISIS neighbors. As you can see, the circuit ID here is 0, which is a number, a locally significant number. And also in rotor R4 show ISIS neighbors. The only interface is serial 2.0 with the circuit ID of 0, 1.